Well, imagine living next door to a house that's been home to a grow operation not once, not twice, but three times. That's what people in one Vancouver neighborhood are dealing with. And now the city is looking at taking an unusual step to crack down. CTV's Maria Weisgarber explains. Nobody was answering the door at 729 East 58th Avenue, and there are signs no one's been around for a while. It was about 10 o'clock in the morning, and I had some pretty loud voices hearing, you know, police, police. Neighbor Michael Glenn remembers one day last fall when the house wasn't so quiet. They were banging, went one, two, three, smashed it open, they went in there, they had assault rifles. Police have found a marijuana grow up at this home three times in the last eight years. Other neighbors didn't want to go on camera, but say it makes them nervous. The city believes those fears are warranted. Grow ops can be a fire risk due to unsafe electrical wiring. The city says there's also the risk of attracting home invaders to the neighborhood looking to carry out a grow rip. Well, how does it make you feel to have a, you know, this is a repeat grow op place? I mean, yeah, well, at... obviously not that safe. The city is taking step to ensure that it doesn't happen again. The city says after each bust, the property owner said the grow out belonged to an unknown tenant. Council will now consider getting a court order to prohibit the owner from renting the home. In Vancouver, you actually have to take our business license in order to rent to uh, a, a third party, right? But the owner didn't do, even do that. Along with seeking a court order, city staff also want to add a warning notice to the title of the property to let any future buyers know about the grow ops. Our police will be monitoring it, and certainly the neighbors should be monitoring it. Monitor and hope things stay quiet from now on.